Hey everyone, I'm Franny Rollins, and this is uh, Tips for Making Your Book Look Good Online. Um, if you are not comfortable with setting up your book and holding it, or if you just don't like the way that looks, this video will show you how to create a PDF with your book and then be able to read it um, while you screen share on Zoom. So first you need to take your book and you need to somehow digitize it. The best way to do this is to get your handy cell phone and either take pictures of each page, or if you have something like a scan app, um, something that will uh, link to the actual page or kind of, you know, uh, kind of frame itself to the outside of the page. Something like that is wonderful. Um, once you have that file on your camera, you want to then email it to yourself or send it to yourself. So that way you have a PDF of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen so I can show you um, kind of the PDF that I have. So here is my Pink Alicious book. And so when I click on it, you'll see it's a little bit of an older book, apologies. Um, but so you can see here's the title and here are the pages within it. And ooh, whoops. When I did this, I the configuration is different on each page. So I did the title page as kind of in this portrait mode and the rest of the book I did in landscape. So there are two things I can do here. The first is I can go back and take another picture of the cover and maybe do the cover and the back page. And that would be kind of the first image. Or what I can do is with that, with the uh, following pages as I can go down, select all of them and I can rotate them all. So that way they're in the right configuration as we go through. Um, one of the other things that I like to do, and if these were all in the same configuration, this would work a lot better. Um, but um, what you can do is you can frame that preview to the size of your page. So if I get rid of these sidebars, you can see how I can almost frame it. So that way, this book is the only thing that I would see in that preview. Um, as I go down to the next pages again, because my configuration was off when I took the pictures, um, I can also do the same thing when it comes to landscape. So I can have just that page of the book in the viewfinder for that preview, um, which makes it very clean. So now that I've kind of showed you how to do those things with the PDF that you've made, um, what I'd like to do now is um, show you how um, if I just share with the PDF. Okay, so now that we've framed our book kind of within our preview and the way that we're kind of watching and looking at this PDF, now I want to show you what it looks like when I share my screen. And it's not my entire desktop, but I actually just do the preview of what we're looking at. And so here I'm going to screen share with the preview. And so what you'll notice now is you just see the book. Um, so here we can go through this book and um, I am on this page, but now I can use my arrows um, and kind of scroll down to the next page. And I can say, this is Pinkalicious Puptastic. And I'm at my next page. I have news, mommy said, we are going to take care of a puppy. The Razzles ask us to puppy sit Pinky this week when they are away. And I can go through page by page this way, kind of in that preview mode. Um, and this is a really nice way. Again, if you're not quite comfortable kind of holding up the book and reading it or holding up the book and try to read it off the screen, this is a really great way um, to kind of show the book, um, also allow your reader to kind of see the book um, as a static, unmoving picture. Um, this is also really nice too. If let's say you have a book that has some interesting words in it, or if you wanted to kind of point out some specific things. Um, you can also take your cursor because you can still see your cursor in the preview. And so if it's something where you wanted to be able to point out something where I am Pinkalicious, you can actually say, I am Pinkalicious, I said, and you can actually underline underneath some of those words. So um, if it is something where you wanted to be able to follow with your cursor as you're reading, that's sometimes nice too. Um, so again, this is just a really nice way if the document that you're working with, you really want to have online and make that book look really good while you're reading it. Um, it's also a little bit easier to read when it's this way too. So um, hopefully if this is the direction that you want to go in, um, I've kind of explained some of the ways that you can get your book onto your computer as a PDF, and then also how to format it and get it so it looks really good on Zoom. Best of luck on your reading.